Bailey and Keone, you may now read your own vows. Who would like to go first? <laughs> All right. Bailey, go ahead and start the show. All you have to do is touch my hand To show me you understand And let something happens to me That's some kind of wonderful Now any time I do you take Keone to have and to hold Through sickness and health To be your lawfully wedded husband As long as you both shall live? I have been praying to find you my whole life. When I was little, I would ask God to make this path for me abundantly clear. And when it came to you and our relationship, that prayer has been answered in a big way. I still cannot believe that we met at my parents' house with your dad taking photos. And when I learned that you were also number 52, I had to laugh at how beautifully God lined my path with signs that you are my person. Because, <laughs> you know, we will with sad people. <laughs> I always wondered what today would be like. I imagine there would be someone with big brown eyes, someone so beautiful, smart, sexy, caring and compassionate, and so, so understanding. And yet here we both are falling into that category. <laughs> This is the start of your story. Together in paradise, you have chosen with all these people as witness to enter the contract and covenant of marriage. Marriage is not the end, but the beginning. You both have already shared loss, love, joy, and sorrow, but as separate people. Today, you will leave as one, conjoined mentally, physically, and spiritually. When I think of you two, I think of love. The love I had watching you grow up as my Spanish little sister. The love I developed getting to know Keone in his huge heart. His willingness to drop everything to help in the times of need. And the love we've all gotten to witness blossom since that fateful day at the Scientec barbecue. Who at that point could have said, this is your person? You are the hardest working, most understanding, compassionate, loving woman I know. You are gentle, caring, and have such a way with words. You lift me up when I am down, and you help me find securities in my insecurities. You are my ride or die woman. You are down for any adventure, from going to the Bay to Monterey, Oregon drift trips with friends, and Hawaii with people we love the most. But no words I say or write could convey the love and care I have for you deep within my heart. You are my everything. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss each other equally. I have died every day waiting for you. I'm blessed to present to you all Mr. and Mrs. Kahookum.
Me and Keone go back 12 years, 2010, when we first started playing football together. And man, this, this young man turned into something I hoped my parents would give me one day. And I was a little brother. And to see my little brother on his wedding day next to the woman he wants to love forever makes me feel so great. My love for each of you is more than I can truly put into words. Ailey, you are my twinny. You are my partner in crime my womb mate and it was going to take someone incredibly amazing to be worthy of you and by golly you found him these two are so special individually they are each forces of nature but together i can't even imagine what they're going to be able to do they support each other's dreams and help figure out how to get there they are constantly coming up with ways to make each other laugh and always putting each other first and all along I believed I would find you Time has brought your heart to me I have loved you for a thousand years I love you for a thousand more With you not a day grows old and my love for you will always be fresh I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have you as my bride and I love you I promise to have your back and always pack your spare inhaler. I promise to be a weirdo and make you giggle. I promise to be the man you fell in love with. Most importantly, I'll be there to get you a snack when your blood sugar gets low. <laughs> I will love you and have faith in your love for me through all our years and all that life brings us.